I'm Yuka Kitajima, and I'm a junior conflict studies major from Japan. Trying to look at how peace education could be very significant um, in urban city development, particularly creating resi resilience within the community. Um, I'm looking at case study of 311 Japan tsunami and earthquake, how community got together and tried to recover the um, damage, rebuild the community, and creating commons within. I took Globalization and Resistance with Glenn um, in my sophomore year. That course kind of changed my perspective to look at the world. Um, so when I saw this Peace City Lab on the course list, I was like, okay, I need to take this course. Um, I may want to do, may, I may want to continue this work to my honor scholar program, honor scholar thesis, which is coming up next year. Um, and also integrate this into conflict studies major thesis for spring semester senior year. Um, yeah, I do, um, definitely. It's a really meaningful course. Um, it's not even a course anymore. It's a, like, I feel like it's a lifetime work. You know, you have to constantly engage in this tireless work. Um, so just looking, maybe students looking at different projects just by Silly Lab would help them to deeply understand what's actually going on behind the TV screens and media. They can kind of further pursue their own academic interests and um, integrate that with Silly Lab work, urban studies work, to find a new area that they might be interested in even more. When I interact with people on campus or beyond campus, I now have this pers that different perspective. I can phrase words differently. I can um, think about their background even more. Um, it doesn't necessarily involve off-campus study. So I have this critical thinking skills and then all of these different skill sets or perspectives that I gained from this course. Um, there is a Silly Love Facebook page and website, so go ahead and like it and read all the fascinating projects that we've already we've um, been doing. Already.